what's up guys, today we're going to be reviewing Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. Okay, we, we gotta talk about this one. Alright, so, they, okay. <laughs> this movie was a confusing mess. It wasn't good. It was not good. <laughs> it wasn't the best. Um, it was confusing because it was just like Cult of Thorn thing that was going on with like Jamie and everything. And so it got really confusing, if you guys know what I mean. Like, it's about how Michael Myers, like, started to kill his sister. Like, there was this cult of thorn that made him kill his sister and everything. It's just, it's really, really hard to get. It's really difficult. This is one of these movies I saw. You had to pay attention to it to get it. And it just doesn't succeed right. It's not really good. So, um, yeah. I thought this, they could have done something really, really cool with this movie. But they decided not to. They decided to go with the Cult of Thorn thing, like, off of Part 5. It was just... Part 5 was worse than this, okay? I mean, so in this movie, the Dr. Loomis is still in it. Um... And... Jamie's back in it. Not the actor, because she didn't... She ditched this Halloween franchise to go with Rob Zombie. Why would you ditch freaking Halloween original franchise for Rob Zombie movies? That's not cool. <sighs> <laughs> but yeah, so Jamie's having a baby at 15 because she got raped by Michael Myers. Excuse me? What happened again? Like, this is absolutely confusing and disgusting. Like, <laughs> uh, so Michael Myers is going after Lori Strode's family, like, foster family, or I don't know, just adopted family. And now they're leaving in the Myers house. They. So, the husband never told any of the family that Michael Myers, that uh, guy who killed his sister, lived in that house. And so, they're just in the house. This The guy knows about it. And then, then the lady's like, oh, wait, we have to move. Because Dr. Loomis comes and talks to her about what happened a long time ago. She's like, we have to move. She gets killed off. And, you know, everything goes to heck. And it's just a really fun movie. You guys should watch this. Um, why am I saying it's fun? Ew, no, it's not fun. Ugh. I'm talking about the deaths. I'm sorry. I don't, I didn't, I never even meant to say fun. But, um, this is an okay movie. I'm not gonna say it's, like, the worst out of the whole entire franchise, because it's not. But it's totally one of those which are just kind of like, I don't feel like watching this one anymore. It's not really like. Um, now we're halfway through the franchise. And also, another thing that you guys should really get instead of the original is you guys need to get the unrated producer's cut, which is also really good. This this explains a lot more, and it's better, but the thing is, it tones down, like, the gore and everything, so you won't really see that much gore. The deaths are just more not really good. If you watch this one, there's more gore, and if you guys like gore and, like, really cool deaths, then you need to watch this one. If you don't like that stuff, you don't like gore being shown, this is the one you need to watch, so yeah. I'm with, I'm with the producer's cut here because um, it explains a lot more and you start to get the franchise more. So, you really need to get this. And rest in peace, Donald Loomis. Uh, Donald Loomis, yeah, I think that's right. Dr. Loomis. Um, he had died in real life, um, 1995. He, he died in produ production of Halloween, the Curse of Michael Myers producer's cut. So, rest in peace. Rest in peace. He was a really good actor, too, and I really enjoyed him. He was in this movie, but while they were shooting producers, he had, like, a heart attack or died of old age or something, and so they had to, like, use a dummy for, um, for, uh, or, like, like a mannequin for him in half of this movie, so you don't really get to see him that much then in this one. So, I... The reason, one thing I like the reason of this, because it has more Dr. Loomis in it. Uh, another thing I like for this is it explains more of it, so. You both and both. Yeah, but I believe it's okay, movie. I don't know if you'd want to watch it or not. But, you know, it explains more, but I mean, it's really no sense of making it. This is, like, the second timeline they have. Uh, no, it's not. It continues off the first, second, third. Never even happened. <laughs> um, fifth. Six and seventh, no, it was fourth, five, and six. These all have the Cult of Thorn timeline. Tomorrow, we're going to, um, 
uh, review Halloween H2O, which is a really great movie, and really, I love it. So this is Halloween 6, guys. Um, I would totally pick up this one if you don't want to see that much gore. Um, but if you want to pick up, and if you want to get more of the Michael Myers franchise, and if you want to see this one, more gore and more Dr. Loomis. Bye, guys. Peace out. This is Unboxing and Reviews, kid. Peace out.